What is good, everybody? It is your boy Super Saiyan Cab back with something. Honestly, I didn't. I, when the event first dropped, I didn't expect to make this or even really think about making it too much. But then the more I looked at the event, the more I looked at the comments on the, yesterday's video, um, seeing how you know a lot of you guys were disappointed. It just really got me thinking that this this third year anniversary, this is kind of trash considering all the support that the community has given to Bandai. Now, do not get me wrong. There are some good things in this event for people who have not really been playing the game since release or who have not been playing the game for a very long time. You know, the three times Zenny and experience. That's extremely clutch for those who have not been on the game long. Those who don't have insane amount of TP medals to where they can get to their characters to 99 like that. Or those that don't have insane amount of Zenny to where they can get their characters even to level 80 like that. So the three times experience and Zenny helps both of those things out for sure, for sure. You know, so definitely good for some of those players out there. Um, what else do they got? They got the 100 TP metal login bonus. If you log in one time throughout the, the, the events uh, time span through the week of it, you got 100 TP medals when it's over. What the hell am I going to do with that? that? That is literally only good for someone who needs TP medals to level up their characters. Which goes falls back into that whole three times any three times experience. Like a hundred TP medals ain't gonna do nothing for me, bro. Like it literally does nothing for me at this point in time. The only thing that it does is help me with a little bit of TP medals if I ever want to make a brand new character for a video or something like that. That's the only thing I can do. But I know a lot of people at this point in time have most of their characters 99, all eight, you know, all eight on the list, all 99. So what the hell are you gonna do with 100 TP medals? Shut up, my ass. What the hell? Like none of Hello? So that's kind of that's 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 just stupid right there in my opinion. And then what else do we got going on? We got the CAC tournament. We're gonna save the raid for last because I think the raid is actually fairly decent. We got the CAC tournament though, which first of all, you got the first to 10th place reward of 666 TP medals. What the hell? I don't even want to come in first to 10th place. What kind of curse you trying to put on me with that shit? That don't make no sense. How the hell, 666 TP medals, really? So I'm grinding through all this, going through, through all the cheese, let's say for Xbox, through all the cheese, all the net code issues, and at the end of it, I get 666 TP medals if I come in first attempt. So you just put a curse on me because I, I did good? That's some nonsense right there. Now, secondly, if you're on PS4, regardless of the TP medals, yeah, it's a decent amount of TP medals, all this other bull, but you got to deal with net code. You got to deal with cheaters. I mean, not cheaters. You got to deal with cheesers. And you do have to deal with cheaters, in a sense. Because they're modding. Which means they're cheating. So that tournament, you know, there are some people who, shout out to all my boys that were going to go strong down below in the comments saying that they're going to go through these modders. They're going to whoop the modders. I've seen the people, a couple people talking about that. Saying, I'll, you know, screw the modders. I'm still going to beat their ass in this tournament. Things of that nature. So shout out to all y'all who are still going to try and go strong. Hope the uh, best of luck to all you guys who do participate in that tournament. But that's just another thing. Like, you know, where's, where's something for, for us? Where's something new? Like, even if you just gave us a couple new super souls, a, a, a new outfit, um, I, I, I highly doubt a new skill would ever come on something like this, something random like that. But if you just gave us, like, a couple new skills, something new for the community, for the whole community, not just those who haven't been playing Xenoverse since it came out, or those who have just kind of recently got Xenoverse 2. You know, because for the most part, the three things that I explained are really for those who have not leveled up their characters or anything like that because the, besides the world martial arts tournament for those who want to you know participate and you know get through the cheese net code and just prove that they they still lit and just are very good all around besides those type of people the tournaments are really because eh, you got to deal with the net code and the cheese and then if you're on ps4 you got to deal with the modders as well so it's just really not worth it trying to put in that grind in my opinion at least and a lot of you guys opinion as well and then like I said, all the other stuff is just three times any three times experience. <sighs> Can't do nothing with that. Uh, the only the good thing from this, and it's not even like great or anything, is the new raid. The new raid is I I like this. It's it's the best thing they did for the event because it's the only somewhat 
new thing that we have in the sense that we've never seen a raid like this all other raids only give one other one outfit or something like that one wig this raid literally consists of like four different outfits a wig um a bunch of tp meadows all this other stuff like there's just so much that you can get from this raid that makes it so much more worth it than any of the other raids that we've ever done in the past so again this raid right here is the best thing that came from this event without doubt and there's not one damn new thing in in this raid not one huh so you telling me we got a third year anniversary event where we saw absolute dick cheese as far as new stuff goes just nothing but it, it's just so sad because like i said if y'all would have given us a couple outfits one or two outfits if y'all would have given us a couple super souls, five super souls. If y'all would have gave us uh, uh, maybe some new mentor gifts. Uh, there's just so many little things you could have given us that would have been better and would have got the community a little bit more excited than what you got going on right now. Like I said, the only thing that really I see a lot of people more excited for than anything is the raid because it gives people an opportunity to get things that they haven't in the past. But then I've seen a lot of comments where people are like, you know, I already got all this stuff in the raid and all the other stuff is completely pointless. So this third year anniversary is just kind of trash for me all around. Like if you already have the raid stuff and do not really need XP or Zenny or anything like that, then this third year anniversary really is kind of pointless. Because, I mean, they do tournaments all the time. It may not be CAC-only tournaments, but they do tournaments all the time on Xenoverse 2. So it's not like if you miss this tournament, you won't be able to participate in another or anything like that. So again, man, to me, this, this event was very lackluster, especially like I understand, you know, gotcha games with the mobile versions of, with Dokkan Legends. Of course, they're going to get amazing anniversaries because with those anniversaries, they make a bunch of money off of them at the same time. But, you know, you would think that Xenoverse would have done something, a little something for the community, considering how much just for how long we've kept this game alive, first and foremost. For this game still to be going to this day. For people to still be playing it the way people do it till this day. That should be more than enough for them to honestly want to give us something a little bit better than what we got for this 30 year anniversary event. Now I know the DLC is coming out and some people will be like, well, what if they're just saving everything for the DLC? I mean, that'd be cool and all. But like I said, if they would have just given us an outfit or two, they would have given us like five super souls, just something something brand new for the community to look at and say oh this is something i've never seen before on xenoverse 2 let me test this out or oh this is an outfit i've never seen and it looks fairly dope let me rock this for a couple matches online you know things like that just would have been so much better in my opinion than the three times any the three times experience you know all the stuff they're really giving us because i'm gonna say it for the last time a lot of this stuff while it may be helpful to some of you guys out there it's really not helpful to most of the community that are still playing this game till this very day so let me know what you guys think about what i said in this video do you guys agree disagree and even for those who you know may need that three times any three times experience do you understand at least what i'm saying though for like most of the community for those who have been playing the game to the day or till it uh since it dropped or even for at least a year or two at this point in time who have a whole list of characters at level 99 and really do not need that in any way shape or form same goes with the tournament there's no need for those tp medals from the tournament mm -hmm. you know there's just uh, I can keep going on and on about how this event was pointless, things like that. But we're going to end the video right here, man. I want to just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys have not already, be sure to check out your boy's second channel. I will have it linked down below in the description. I'm going to start uploading over there more consistently. Actually going to have an upload on that channel today for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that if you want to check it out. And uh, um, the second channel is based off of Gacha Gaming, Dragon Ball Legends, Dokkan Battle, things of that nature. So if you're into that, be sure to subscribe to your boy. Link again will be down below in the description. But... As always, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about what I said. Do you agree with how your boy feels? Do you feel the same way? Or are you one of those who honestly are somewhat newer to the game and really, really need this? Because there were some people like that in the comment section yesterday. And I'm happy for you guys. I'm happy for those who can take full advantage of this, get all the stuff that they needed as far as any experience. Um, and even the stuff from the raid because I do have a couple things that I don't have from the raid for the most part I do have most of that stuff 
but there are a couple things that i will take advantage of with that raid so again i'm happy for those who are excited about this event those who can take full advantage of this event but this rant really comes from a perspective for those which is like i'd say at least 70 percent of the community for those who can do absolutely nothing and have no use for anything regarding this third year anniversary event that they decided to give us for xenoverse 2 so again let me know all that down below in the comments and as always one more time thank you guys so much for watching really really hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you have a good day peace y'all